So we're here at the Mobile World Congress, at the LSI booth. And uh, who are you? I'm Gene Scateri. I run engineering for the networking organization at LSI. So what are we holding? What is that? This is the Axia 5516. This is the world's first 16-way SMP ARM processor. This is a product that we're ramping into volume production now. It's targeted at uh, base stations. This does all the necessary L2, L3 processing that's required in the wireless infrastructure network. So, uh, for wireless infrastructure, like uh, what kind of devices are so there? Your what kind of when, products? When you're driving in your car, talking on your cell phone, your phone communicates with a piece of equipment called a base station that does all the signal processing and control processing to connect your phone to the telecommunications network. That's the function of a base station. And this part does some of the key control processing in a base station. So it's only for base station, but could no, it be other we, things? We, we target enterprise as well. This part will see its first production ramp into base stations, but it is also on several uh, line cards in enterprise networks as well. So it's 16 core ARM Cortex A15? There's 16 A15s connected on a fully coherent interconnect called CCN 504. In addition to that, we have an array of 15 different custom made accelerators that do a very good power efficient job of packet classification, traffic management, security processing, ethernet switching, all the other functions that are necessary in a base station are contained in this one SOC. So these uh, interconnect that you're talking about, is that, uh, what design is that? That's a product from ARM that we partnered with them on. Its code name was Dickens, its product name is CCN Cache Coherent Network 504, and that's what's used to connect the L2 caches of these clusters into a 16-way SMP domain. And this is the first time ever? This is the first it's implementation it's of that, correct. First? Yes. In the planet? Yes. In the world? Yes. Uh, and uh, here is already in mass production, there's like five. But I mean, I'm joking, but how soon is it like? It's ramping into volume production now. Now. So it's been out for uh, a little bit over a year, and it will be going into mass production a little bit towards the end of the year. What do you mean it's been out for a little over a year? What does that mean? It's first sample Tape out? in this. Yeah. No, samples, first okay. samples were in this summer. And uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, so that means there are actual base stations with them already in the market? They're in the, not, in, they're in not being released to the market. They're okay. still in the lab being developed. Okay. They will be released to market shortly. So They're still in the development phase in our customers' labs. So how does this perform compared to previous generation stuff or what other people are doing? We measure ourselves on performance per watt and this part is twice as power efficient as anything else on the market, meaning for the amount of bandwidth that we can support and the amount of throughput that we can process, we can process twice as much at the same power level of anything else that's available. So that's comparing it to, what could it be, x86, PowerPC, what is it? Anything else available. Anything else? From us or anybody else. And We've been deal doing ARM products since the ARM's been in existence. Oh, you have? Okay. This is our first ARM product for infrastructure, wireless infrastructure. So what were you doing before with ARM? Oh, we, we ship about a million ARM parts a day. A it, day? A day, yes, at LSI. We have ARM in uh, a very strong position in our storage business, both in the disk drive business, as well as our RAID controller business. So ARMs are used in those as well. So, um, uh, but this is the first step in a networking base station ARM? Yes, this, and this part represents the conversion from a previous instruction set architecture to ARM. And so the first step, that means there will be other steps too? Yes. And you have announced something? Not yet. But uh, for sure there will be more? For sure there will be more. You, a customer will never design a product based on one product release. There has to be a roadmap, as you must have heard in the wireless infrastructure. We're expecting 50 billion connections by the year 2020. And 
that is going to present a lot of demand on the wireless network. And to keep up with that demand, we have to have a roadmap of ever increasing processing power and compute throughput to allow all those devices to work and have satisfied customers. So you need millions and millions and millions of base stations. There is about, by 2018, there'll be anywhere between 1.5 to 2 million base stations shipped a year. Per year? Yes. All right. So uh, there's also servers, are you working on that? Uh, there's another application, which is actually this card right here, which we call a network accelerator, where if you want to have a software-defined network or virtualization, you can use this card, which also has an axiom on it, to complement and offload a server function <laughs> to certain functions that are done more efficiently in hardware acceleration. So Axia is the brand that you have for ARM or not? For all the networking? All of the new Axia products are ARM based. All right. Uh, and up, up there, just what is that? This is our previous generation. This is uh, the part that's in production today, in shipping and base stations today. This is PowerPC based. The 5516 replaces this in the next generation. All right. So, okay.